What is going on guys? It's your boy CJ and I'm back again with another division video. So today I'm bringing you guys my tactician healer build. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me what the best, uh, I guess, support build or what is like the most essential build to run in the group and this is easily the best, most essential, most like you need to run this build. Even if you don't play a healer a lot or like regularly, like you're not a dedicated healer, having this in your loadout will always be good. It's such a game changer to run a healer this patch if you're running in the dark zone with a group or even in last stand with your homies. So it just, it helps out so much. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into the build and I'm gonna explain how to do it. I know there's not gameplay here, but instead I'm going to actually put gameplay throughout this video to show you guys like tips on how to use the build and how it actually works when you do use the tips that I give you guys. So again, without further ado, let's get right into the build. So for my primary weapon, I'm using a Midas. Each bullet you hit with reduces your damage by 1% and your target's damage by 1% to a max of 20%. This the effect is reduced by 5% per, 5 per second. Um, and then I can see I don't have any other talents unlocked for it because I do have 9k electronics, so it's not really necessary um, the bottom talent is really what matters. You can also use the Caduceus as well, but I feel like with the Midas you're debuffing, which is pretty much the only real thing you can do since you're not really doing a lot of damage. You're a healer, so there you go. Uh, my secondary is just whatever. I'm not going to go too much in the weapons here because it's not necessary. So let's go into the build itself. I'm using 4-piece Tactician. My chest piece is a vigorous chest piece rolled into health and skill haste uh, with an electronics roll. Now everything you want electronics into it and you want uh, electronics mods everything that's what you want across the board for everything you want skill haste you want all that. There is no firearms, no stamina, no health, none of that shit. Like of course you get health on like here but um you don't need that. So uh, that's pretty much what I got there. The reason I use a uh, vigorous is because it basically gives me and my team an overheal. Um, if you are going to run Vigorous, make sure that the people you're playing with run Vigorous as well. I can't stress that enough. It's the most annoying thing in the world when you are running Vigorous, knowing how good your heals are and the other players in your team are not running Vigorous. It's a huge help. So even if you guys are not uh, like healers, you guys are just regular DPS players that be watching this video, if your healer is running Vigorous, put on Vigorous bro, it's not that serious, it won't take much out of your build and it benefits you, so just keep that in mind, it's the most annoying thing in the world for a healer to have to deal with people who just don't know what the fuck they're doing, so um, that's pretty much it there. My Tactician's Mask is rolled into Electronics with uh, Crit Chance, you can want to put Skill Power, I'm not, sure, really, not really sure why I have that there, and as you guys can see the roll is the same shit there. Um, my knee pads are rolled into skill power and electronics with a uh, electronics mod with skill haste and support station healing speed. I'm going to talk about the prototype performance mods right after this when we're done here. My backpack is an inventive backpack. Increased skill power by 15% while at full health. Because you're in overheal with your vigorous chest piece, you're basically always having 15% more skill power. So. So having Vigorous is like a big thing to the build, especially if you're going to use Inventive. So keep that in mind. Um, this has Skill Power as a major attribute and an Electronics mod with Skill Haste. My gloves are rolled into Skill Haste with Crit Damage and Crit Chance. It doesn't really matter what you get as long as you have a Skill Haste and uh, an Electronics mod there and an Electronics roll. That's really all you need there. So I don't know why I said Electronics mod, but you guys know what I'm talking about. My Tactician's Authority Holster is rolled into Skill Haste. Decent rolled across the board, not the best, but I mean, it's whatever. Definitely strive to get better pieces than I have, and with that being said, I have a Prototype Performance mod with Support Station Healing Speed. Now, let's talk about the Prototype Performance mods. There are many different ways to use this. The way I run a healer is with the box and the first aid, so like uh, the defib and all that. So. The support station healing speed I find works for me because it puts me in overheal a lot faster, it heals my team a lot faster, especially with all the overtime heals that I am dishing out. 
to my team so it just makes it a lot more convenient but with that being said you can switch this up you can put six percent first aid ally heal on everything you can put support station range um the reason i don't use first aid uh ally heal or whatever is because let's go into my skills here um as you can see without it i have 338k ally heal so most people don't even have that much health anyways unless you're running like a straight tank and then again most people don't do that like if i'm running in a group i have people that are running mainly dps builds so um it doesn't really matter so putting first aid ally heal is just a bit excessive really especially when you can put support station range healing speed you know all that good stuff so keep that in mind that is why i do that of course you can do that if you want the most maxed out heals but like honestly no one's gonna notice so that's uh that's pretty much why i do that there so let's while we're at the skills let's just take a look at all them if you guys can see the 338k ally heal and it's got a 14 second cooldown and that's not even putting the factor into my triage talents and all that good stuff that i do have on the build so I'm getting this back and you guys are going to see in the gameplay within like 6-7 seconds if everyone is running into my heals and we're going to talk about that stuff later on but so with that being said like this is really good um defib is definitely the way to go considering that if a player god forbid does go down you can actually get them up by just shooting them down shooting the defib down on the ground however with this laggy ass game uh, sometimes this won't work so if this does happen and it doesn't work do not come back on my video give me some salt uh, it's really just the game that doesn't register it sometimes and it's really annoying because they said that they fixed that and they haven't but whatever um, my booster shot or my overdose um, you guys can see has a big self feel now if you do want to run overdose if you do have that really stubborn ass kid who does not have a uh, a vigorous chest piece then of course you may be forced to run overdose and um that's where you're going to want to put ally heal as you guys can see it's only 190k and um you're going to want more than that uh your booster shot does pretty good across the board 202k uh ally heal 202 202k or 202k self heal i don't even know why i'm saying it like that but um as you guys can see the cooldowns are very short for everything so um yeah like the heals come back really fast you're always dishing them out and as long as you're dishing them out and everyone's running into your heals you pretty much like you're set now let's go into my immune box as you guys can see um the healing rate's 15k every second which is incredible with a 11 second cooldown now if you're going to run a box um, I would recommend having someone else that runs a separate box like if I'm running immune station someone needs to run life support unless like it's really not necessary for your group but um, I find that if we have both those down if someone does go down it's not that serious for us to all rush around to uh, get him up we can I guess body block and make sure that he can pick himself up with the immune station or automatically be picked up with the uh, life support station so there's that now for the other skills you can run pulse if you want like if someone's running the immune station and you guys if like depending on what how your team chemistry is and type of team that you play with you may not need to run an immune station for whatever reason and you can run a pulse as well as you guys can see my recon pulse has 43 crit chance and 43 crit damage now if i maxed out with the 30 stacks that tacticians does give you um you'll be at around 53 so um, i'm going to show a little uh, clip of how it looks like when i maxed out at the 30 stacks but uh scrambler um i don't use scrambler that much because like i think the uh, recon is a lot better but if you are running away you do need that that time where people can't really find where you are um it's there it has a 37 crit chance and 37 crit damage and my damage pulse has 37 crit chance with 50 percent crit damage which is pretty insane um with the uh stuff maxed out you will have around 60 crit damage on there which is just ridiculous man 
So with that being said, let's go into the talents and I'm going to explain how to really run the build. Now I run Adrenaline, Triage, Battle Buddy, and Combat Medic. Yes, people can run on the move, you can run Strike Back and all that critical save stupid shit. But like the reason I don't run that is because I am simply a healer. My only job is to keep my homies alive. When you use Adrenaline with uh, Triage and Combat Medic, um, when you pop a med kit, it's going to trigger triage multiple times and really really fast so you're getting your heals back even faster than i already said before if you do need to use a med kit i don't find myself using med kits a lot because um especially not for myself because i don't really need it like i'm always in an overheal and i'm always moving around so i don't really need to be popping heals if i'm getting focused my team will deal with that so that's pretty much why i do that um i'm only really popping med kits if someone calls out that they need one but um usually it's we're pretty set so that this is the most optimal way in my opinion to run this so uh you can kind of screw around change it change some stuff up but uh yeah that's pretty much it there so with that being said i'm going to tell you guys some tips on how to run this build all right and i'm sure you guys will probably see gameplay at this point while i talk to you guys about how to run this build the main number one thing that you need to do when you're running this build is communication, alright? If you're the healer of the build, you have to communicate, you have to call out. Normally, like, it's normally like the leader, like the lead DPS of the group that does the call outs, that whatever. But if you are in a group where it's usually maybe just your homies or your clan or whatever, you should definitely be doing the call outs. You shouldn't be, like, like running first in front of everyone but like doing the callouts is extremely good especially when you're doing when you're using the uh, Midas someone's got to be calling out all right basically my point um when you're running that with the Midas and the callouts you're basically debuffing whoever is in front of you whoever you're focusing and it makes taking that target down a lot easier it makes uh it easier for you to survive since you're not taking so much damage because everyone's debuffed so keep that in mind um, calling out where to go is also a good thing like don't put your box down if you're planning on running in like two seconds like it doesn't make any sense it's an inefficient way to run the build um, you're gonna ha you're gonna have that on even with the short cooldown you might have that shit on cooldown for five seconds when you and then that five seconds you might just all get wiped out by tackling you know what I'm saying so use the communication is so essential I cannot it, explain that enough there is nothing worse than having a healer with a good build like this and they don't know what the fuck they're doing with it like it's ridiculous another thing is with the communication is to make sure that you tell people when you're putting your heels down when you're putting the box down normally let the leader of your group or whoever decide when to put the box down or to tell you when to put the box down so you can do that so they're all ready don't just put it down when they're not ready to fight so um keep that in mind like make sure you tell people when the heals are down sometimes you may have a few players that run out of your box and then like they won't get the heal and then they're not in the overheal and then they die so make sure you say you know the heal is down or heals on me is what i normally say and the players will move back in to the little circle so they can get the heal now another thing and this is probably the most essential thing when you do be happening to like when you're running away from players when you're trying to move the fight to somewhere else never be in the front of the group and never be at the back you should either be the second person like the person behind the first person that's running or in front of the last guy all right so what i mean by that is and why i say that is because if you're at the back and you're being chased well they're always going to focus the healer, they're always going to try and kill you first. Um, if you're at the back, well, there you go, like, you're not going to be very effective at the back. Um, if you're in the middle, you kind of, you're able to see more of what's going on. You're not being focused by anyone, as well as you'll know when your group stops, so you'll know when to put the heal down, as well as if you're in the back and you're getting shot at and you want to put a heal down, Everyone's gonna kind of have to stop, turn around, and run back to get the heal, which again isn't very efficient 
and it's gonna put you at a stop if you want to put the heal down for your team anyways which may cause you to die so um keep that stuff in mind like these are stuff that you really need um and that's pretty much like those are the two most essential things uh for running this build like you use those two effectively and um you pretty much got it team communication everyone having a mic is definitely like a given like if you're running competitively against you know these good teams and all that stuff definitely make sure you have communication definitely make sure you guys know what you're doing um knowing where to take the fight knowing the routes and stuff is also a good idea knowing where the med kits are um and all that good stuff so you guys can get on those manhunts and live them off effectively so just take that all and uh use the build it really helps out um i normally don't even run in groups that much as you guys know i'm a solo player but sometimes I do be running with my homies and shit, sometimes I run with fans, and this is mainly what I made the uh, build for. Um, I actually started using this, uh, I think, last night. Um, I've had this build around for a while, but I used this really effectively last night. I was playing against a... Uh, I was actually solo by myself, I went man on the same group that you guys see in my gameplay. And um, they invite me to the group, and, and they're like, oh, we should run the DZ so we did they're actually uh, subscribers of the channel so shout out to you guys up in uh, TKO or whatever that clan or community is for you guys you guys are being lit it was a fun time um, we took on another clan we were putting in work uh, they're actually multi grouping which was kind of awkward but um so yeah like even with any group like you use this properly you add the coordination like everything you can run this with even like random people like either people I didn't even know so um again just use the build properly. I've always tried to like tell you guys to just use the build properly. Like, I'm telling you guys how to do it. So try and take a bit of my advice and use it properly. So that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This video was probably a bit long. Um, I might keep the gameplay going or whatever with some music or some shit. I don't know. But um, it's been your boy CJ. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to get involved in the community that I be a part of, which is Division Elites on Facebook, you can definitely go check them out. The link in the description, and uh, you will definitely see when I upload as well. If um, you happen to miss the notification or whatever, so uh, yeah, friendly community, it's pretty chill. We out here, and yeah, peace out.